Okay, we're gonna get straight into this. This is the Joe Like M3 player. You can get this on joelike.com.cn. That's the Chinese website. And it, there's no spam on the site. It's actually a very nice website. I have to say, I love the Joe Like products. I've been addicted during lockdowns when we had COVID. And by the way, I'll never do another lockdown again. But anyway, during the lockdowns, I was ordering on Amazon. And this is the .co.uk one. I got this one, the M3 from Amazon.com because they didn't sell it on the British um, version of Amazon. So I had to go to the American one to get it. Um, I've had it for six months. I think that's enough time to be able to give this review a good uh, a good review. Um, so let's just switch it on. Let's just do it quickly and tell you exactly how this works. It's it's pretty much like that's just um, the screensaver there. So the screensaver will, will come on after a few seconds. You can disable it in the settings. Um, it's like a smartphone. You can't make phone calls. You can hook up with the Wi-Fi. Uh, but these are all the apps that you have. So you have settings. You can change your screensaver, the color on it. Um, you can play ebooks, which is very complicated trying to do all that sort of stuff. I mean, literally, the, the, the most frustrating thing about this is that it could have been a hell of a lot better. This could potentially have been the best MP3 player on the planet. It's it's nearly there. It's not far away, but there's a lot of things I could have done. If I was an engineer, I wouldn't have released this to the public until you, you gave it out to certain people to try for a few weeks or a few months and then get the feedback from them. So... um. One thing that's frustrating about it is the fact that you have to hook up the Bluetooth every time you turn it on or you have to go into the Bluetooth app. So you have to pretty much hit the Bluetooth app and you have to then go into the settings itself. That is annoying. Um, and then it just comes on. It hooks up to your phone or, or it hooks up to your um, speaker or to your headphones. OK, that's so that you must remember. Not, it's not like your phone when you switch it on. It automatically hooks up to your headphones. It, this doesn't do that. You have to go into the Bluetooth. So I didn't know about that before I bought it. So that's annoying. That probably could have been sorted through proper engineering. Um, I'm sure it couldn't have been that difficult to do. Uh, the other thing is, and this is also irritating too. I will get to the good things shortly, but I just want to get the bad stuff out of the way. Um, the, the, the really annoying thing is that I walk around sometimes obviously with this in my pocket it's Bluetooth as well and you can put your cable in from your headphones as well it's AUX uh, cable port and it's uh, Bluetooth 5 but I was getting crackly sounds as I was on the bus or if I was on the local tram service the crackly sounds were coming on I was just losing signal I was thinking okay I better put it in my breast pocket so it's nearer to my headphones and that didn't make any difference and then I realized as I did a bit of research that even though it says it's Bluetooth 5.0, for some reason, it's not playing WMA and WAV files. OK, so Windows Media Audio and WAV files, they're not playing properly. It plays MP3 player, MP3 songs, no problem. And I suppose when you look at the back here, it says, does it even mention MP3? It just says music player, right? Well, you know, that can be that could be pretty much anything. But it's it's, it's it does say in the ads it's an MP3 player, OK? Um and it is an MP3 player. It just plays MP3s. Now it will play WMA files if you plug in your AUX cable. Absolutely no problems. It plays everything. But as soon as you disconnect your cable and you just have Bluetooth only, it's not playing the um, it's not playing the, all the, all the different formats properly. So that's another little flaw. I would have had that sorted out if I was the engineer. I don't know why they do this kind of stuff. I I don't know whether it's the fact that is it really Bluetooth 5.0 or is it Bluetooth 4.2? Uh, it does say it's 5.0 on the box um, and on the ad on Amazon. But again, if it's crackling like that, it's either the format of the, the songs it can't play or it's the actual device itself that, that it isn't. It's a bit of a, it could be a bit of a lie. I don't know. It's very hard to know with these things. But I did contact customer service. And my experience with customer service from Joe Like was pretty poor. I have to say, they told me to just buy a new device. <laughs> you know, just get a new one. You know, well, can I not? Can you not help me out with the software issues? Can you not take the device back, or can you give me some tips of what I can do to improve it? No, it's just pretty much buy a new one. You know, that kind of attitude. So it wasn't great. Um, so this is what you get when you get your. You have 128 gigs of uh, space on the card. And the SD card, you don't get a free SD card with the thing. You'll have to buy your own. And then on the local folder, you can see there, you can see local folder is just where I think it's um, 32 gigs. OK, so it's 128 on the card and 32 on the local folder. Some of the devices have 16. So you just want to check it out before we buy it. Uh, 16 gigs and 32 gigs on the local folder and on the um, 
See, that's annoying. See the way the screensaver. So I have to disable that and just take it off. Battery is okay. Battery is not bad. It does last. It does last. But just keep charging it anyway. Um, the uh, screensavers are nice. There's a couple of screensavers in there. Trying to play videos, you have to change the format of your video. You have to shrink the size. You too much. Too much. I just had videos on an SD card that I just wanted. To put. I wanted to put. Um, Die Hard. I want to put Die Hard onto this to play it. A pirate copy, okay? I wanted to do it. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. It was telling me to change the file to MP4, which I did. Didn't make any difference. So trying to um, trying to do all that was just too much of a hassle. I don't have all that uh, time to be messing around here, you know? So there you have your settings, your ebook, your Bluetooth, your pedometer, your browser, your photos, your the radio is another thing you have to have the cable plugged in for the radio okay so it doesn't play if you just have it on bluetooth it won't play at all it has to have the cable but it's in mono it's not in stereo fm uh, certainly the one i have here isn't in stereo fm and that's annoying as well so it picks up all the stations it'll play them all no problem but um again it's not fm stereo sound which is a bit strange it's mono um, if anyone knows what that is. So um, that's not great either. I think we can scroll across to the next. Yeah, there's a few other ones. You can record yourself. There's the themes of the screen. There's a calendar. There's an alarm to wake you up and also a stopwatch. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't want to be rambling on here because people just get bored after a few minutes. So I think that's it really. That, that So again, just be aware of your WMA files and your WAV files. Um, I, I don't know if this is because it's 5.0 or 4.2. It says 5.0, so that shouldn't be an issue then. And my headphones are 5.2, so it should be streaming perfectly through both devices. But that's not the case. When I just play MP3s completely, so maybe just, just upload your MP3 players onto it and, and, and you won't have any problems. If if a lot of your f files are all in WMA, you may have to, you may have to transfer them into MP3 format. Look, I'm just giving you the heads up on this. Before you buy, you have to know these things and they're not going to tell you in the ad um, and particularly on customer service, they're certainly not going to tell you. They were very defensive, you know, rather than sort of saying, oh, yes, sir, no problem. I'll, I'll help with that. So what, what issue are you having? Oh, well, I'll do this. You know, that's what you want to hear. Um, oh, you're out of warranty, so I can't give you a free one, but I can give you like a 10% discount or something on your next purchase. Something like that. That's what you want. This kind of stuff. Oh, buy a new one, you know. No, sorry. That's not the way we do business over here in Ireland so or Europe. Um, so so that's just be aware of the formats. They may not play properly. It might be a crackling sound. It's not your headphones. It's just probably the device just isn't able to do that. Um, the SD card can go up to 128 uh, gigs. Um the uh, album artwork, that's another thing I meant to say, the album artwork doesn't show on Bluetooth. It only shows when you've plugged in your cable from your headphones on the AUX. So that's another thing to be aware of. So I've learned a few things over the six months. Um, I'm glad I had it for that length of time. Um, so it's the Joe Like M3 player and you can get it on Joe Like. I, it, to be honest, I'd give it 7 out of 10. Um, I know there's a few other issues. Um, sound is amazing. Sound is brilliant. So from that point of view, it's the best MP3 player sound I've ever had. Um, and I've had some pretty ropey ones uh, that weren't very good um, that I sent back. But this is really, really good quality sound on it. There's no doubt. But I wish they'd just fixed the bloody Bluetooth 5. I don't know if it's... They might bring it... They have a new one coming out, which I'm going to get. It's 5.2. But is it really 5.2? Is my <laughs> I don't know. You know, they, they're great at saying these things in the ad, but... Um, nobody has yet to make a really good mp3 player that i'd spend like 100 euro on or something i i would do that if i knew it was good and had all these issues that i'm mentioning sorted out i'd pay 100 euro for it because i know it would last a long time okay joe like mp3 player m3 this is and you can go on to joe like .com .cn. talk to you soon